All right, I'm gonna teach you how to make a one point perspective. Uh, this is the first activity that I want everybody to try and do just so you learn the basics and you're gonna try and build the table. Uh, and uh, what you will do is go file new and create a document that is 11 by 8.5, which as you can see it is. So I'm not gonna recreate it, so you create that. So uh, 11 by 8.5. So the first step is you're gonna draw a horizon line. And for the purpose of this activity, we'll put it roughly in the middle. But before we do this, I want to set up something. I want to make sure you actually have access to the guides and rulers. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and if, see I have it checked off so it's on. So let's uh, under view, let's turn off, turn on your rulers. So they may not be on. And what I'm going to do is we're going to need this tool a little bit later on. So I'll say roughly in the middle of 8.5. And you could be precise here and go right in the middle. It doesn't really matter. In fact, I think it'll be a little bit nicer. Yeah, let's go right here at four. So I'm gonna click, click the paintbrush tool, click the shift key and drag over. Now, maybe this line is too thick. I'll leave it up to you to decide if you think that's too thick or not. And the rise line is a little bit high, that's fine. So uh, much like the tutorial, what we're gonna do, the, the video we watched before, it shows us how to create a, uh, a polygon tool that we can use to uh, create uh, what we need for our uh, uh, perspective lines. So we're going to do select a perspective line, keep it on shape, fill is blank, red, okay? We want red because, you know, we're, this is going to be a separate layer, right? So I'm going to do that also, create this layer. And maybe I even want to call it uh, my uh, grid so that I don't, you know, I'll delete this at the end. And over here, I want one point perspective. So write one, you probably have something else there. Uh, over here, what you want is to click star, click 99% uh, down here. And um, let me just see here, verify a few things. Make sure that this is not on the path, but on the shape, okay? And uh, over here, I didn't add this here, but we want to click star, 99%, and we want 100 sides, okay? The thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my horizon point right in the middle. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is click where my ruler is and drag out, so basically click. And the sheet is 11, so 5.5 is the middle. And what I'm now gonna do is go back to my polygon tool, and I'm gonna but before I do that, I'm going to go Command Minus, just so I can see the whole thing. And I'm going to click here, right in the middle. And I'm going to pull out. And I want you to notice that this tool does move. So it's really important that you try and line your lines up uh, right on the um, horizon line. So I'm happy with that. And I just noticed I have this twice. I'm going to delete this. Yes, I'm going to change this polygon to my grid, okay, so that I know what it is. And now I can zoom back in. I could get rid of these guides for now. So how do I do that? I go clear guides and they're gone. So if I need any more, I can go and get them after. Um, so I'm going to go command plus. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get my paintbrush tool and I will uh, create a new layer because I want everything to be on a new layer. And so I want that I'm going to use these, this fourth line. I'm going to go uh, click then shift and just drag over to create a perfect line until I get to the other spot and try to put it exactly where it is. I'll stop there and I will follow the line, click and click. And I can, you can see it's a little bit out of angle here. So I'm going to try and go a little higher. Whoops, command Z. So I'll click here, click and then shift. So try to make that as close as possible. And I'm going to go all the way well and this is important. Don't click and then click over here. You want to go click here, then shift, because then it'll draw a perfectly straight line. If you don't do that, it won't be perfectly straight and it won't look as good. Then I'll go over here and just click. All right. So that's pretty good. So now I'm going to go here and click and drag down. So perfect line to the other one. And then I'm going to go press the shift key. Go all the way over here, and and I just noticed I made a mistake. I, I should be on the fourth line here, so I'm going to command Alt Z that two seconds to fix that. So if I'm on the fourth line here, I need to be on the fourth line there. 
otherwise it'll look bad. Shift click, and here I am on the fourth line, and then over here, click, then I'm going to go and drag it. Whoops, forgot to press the shift key. So we're going to go all the way over here, the fourth line, and then there, and then I'm going to click here, and then click down here, and then shift and drag all the way this all the way over here, and then shift. I'm going to create a leg, and I'm going to create it right here. But before I create the leg, I need to drag this down to help me draw a perfect uh, for uh, bottom of the leg. Okay, so I'm going to go here. So I click here, press the shift key, and I stop where I made my guide, and then I'm going to go. Um, let me just double do that over. So I got to choose where it starts down here. So click. It'll probably help if I click the shift key. Click, shift. We're going to go like that. Then I'm going to click down here. Shift. I'm going to make it one thick. Then shift and click all the way up. And then here I want to go click. And we're going to make it like one thick leg. Then go all the way up. Okay, so I want to use almost the same line here. So which line is that? It's kind of hard to uh, spot, but you know, just guesstimate it is my, my, I guess what I'm going to try and do here. So I'm going to go and uh, click here, then click the shift key. Oops, that's it. Shift, you know, easier to draw from the bottom. Then click, shift over, click, shift up, probably use the eraser tool there just to fix that little glitch, click down here, shift, oops, then click, and I want to go about, and here is where I could possibly use another guide to help me, okay, tell me how far do I want to go, I want to go that far, so I'll go click, shift, now I'm going to have to click over here, And then here, and then go all the way up. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I, I made a little boo-boo here, so I could go use the eraser tool or just have command Z that, but I'm going quick so you can get it. So when you're done with this, what I want you to do, file, save as, and export your, ta your table to show me that you've done it. And export it as a JPEG, in this case, it doesn't matter. This could be used as a background. This is an example of the table that was in the Giotto original uh, perspective uh, first, I believe, that's shown in the video example. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know.